it works, Potter. Call the walker. If feasible, call intersecting streets. All right, let's go. Excuse me, sir. Is this cross street Burgess? Yeah, this is Burgess. Royal and Burgess. <laughs> and Ethel's on the ball. Minister Mobile 3, Royal and Burgess. Wait at Royal, take number one position. Out. Minister Control. At destination, call in all Division One units. Destination is where she goes to cover. Read me. But smart. Good looking girl, too. The kind that fools you. <laughs> Not me. I've seen angel pusses who shoot their own grandmothers in the back to take bets on which way they'd fall. Excuse me. Getting off at Barham Plaza. Getting off. Call the walker, drop off. We're putting the sergeant on Graham. We want to play safe. Don't work too close yourself, please. chance not only to help the law for once, but save yourself. What do you mean? If you turn state's evidence, tell us everything you know, you can walk out of here a free woman. We're offering you complete immunity. All you have to do is sign a full statement naming names. We won't even call it a confession. And you go free. So that's why you've been playing the Mama Bull, Inspector. You think I'm a stoolie, huh? No dice. I'm sorry for you. Dumb. Just plain dumb. Right now, your playmates are spilling their guts. Don't let them make you the patsy. You heard the inspector. The minute you sign a statement, you're off the hook. All right, I'll name names. Now we're cooking. The inspector, the lieutenant, the sergeant, especially you, Sarge, are jerks. But I'll say this for you, Sarge, you sweat. I'm getting tired of fooling around with you. He's the hardest cookie I ever ran up against. It's Mrs. Graham's tough luck to be young, attractive, belligerent, immoral, and guilty as hell. Well, we might as well face it. I'm in a real jam this time. I'm the little ball bouncing around a roulette wheel. Everyone betting me the land where it's going to do them the most good. Votes for the DA, circulation for the newspapers, promotions for the cops. That still don't give them the right to hang a bad rap on you. You didn't ask me if it was a bad one. I didn't have to. What about a lawyer? Have you got one? Nothing to worry about. I'll use the public defender. So let's level. What chance have I got? With an uncorroborated alibi? None. <laughs> I came like water. 
And like wind, I go. A written transcript is used in court for the prosecution. But you are hearing the actual voices as originally recorded on the wire inside a tiny minophone like this, which police officer conceals on his body. It's all taken down on the miniature recording device. Her desperate attempt to establish a false alibi. Her faltering admission she was there at the scene of the crime. The flaming redhead finally crumbles into a shattered, frightened woman. She is led crying from the courtroom after the brutal session. Curious onlookers, photographers, and reporters, including this correspondent, crowd around me. Have you anything to say for TV, Mrs. Graham? I'm innocent. What about the testimony of Bruce King and police officer Miranda today? I'm completely innocent. I was home with my family that night. They'll all die violently. The spies, the liars, all the ones who want me dead. I'm innocent. Do you swear it? I swear it. Very foolish to make trouble on your first night, Barbara. I'd advise you to wear the nightgown we've provided you. Well? Okay. Okay, I'll take it off. But I won't wear your burlap job. I'll sleep raw. Well? Cover yourself. <laughs> 